projectionist Ingrid Lay setting up a 35mm film prior to the 2015 Vancouver International Film Festival. Jimmy Jiang for The Globe and Mail. The Vancouver International Film Festival has opened its 36th year, with hundreds of films that include a mix from British Columbia, the rest of North America and the world. Related Bo Dick and Richard Wagamese at fifth, of large absence related fifth organizers won't let Toronto stars dim festivals shine story continues below advertisement The Globe and Mail is presenting a daily pick throughout the festival. Check back to see our recommendations of what to watch. Shadowman directed by Orange Jacoby USA. Before there was Banksy, there was Richard Hambleton. A contemporary of Jean-Michel Basquiat and Keith Haring, Hambleton's shadowy figures painted clandestinely on the streets of New York made him a star on the art scene there in the 1980s. Once he began a studio practice, his works were in high demand, fetching better prices at one point than Basquiat's. Hambleton was born, raised and trained in Vancouver at what is now Emily Carr University of Art Design. Vancouver is also where he began his street art practice, with a series of faux crimacine paintings, anonymous outlines on city streets. He took the project and himself to the United States in the 1970s and wound up in New York, where he became a force on the art scene. He was invited to the Venice Biennale and to paint on the Berlin Wall. And then, Hamilton disappeared from the scene in a spectacular flame-out. This film traces Hamilton's path from rags to riches to rags to riches, and back down and up again, fueled by genius and mired in drug addiction and disease. While it does linger long on Hamilton's Canadian beginnings, the film features a wealth of archival footage from New York, creating a portrait of the city's vanguardiness. It also offers insightful interviews and surprising access into Hamilton's very private world, sometimes aliced swish, but often rock-bottom shabby. Marshall Lederman September 30, 645 p.m., International Village October 2, 2 p.m., International Village October 12, 845 p.m., Vansity Theatre. Faces Places directed by Agnes Varda and Jean France France Story continues below advertisement The French artist J.R. recently grabbed headlines by creating a huge photograph of a Mexican toddler and posting it on a U.S. border wall as though the child were about to crawl over. Giant public portraiture is his signature, and in this whimsical documentary, he collaborates with veteran French filmmaker Agnes Varda, traveling to villages in France to mount portraits of locals on unlikely buildings, and discuss these projects with them. Old photos of miners decorate a row of workers' housing slated for demolition A shy waitress becomes an unlikely social media star when her oversized picture goes up in the town square. The encounters are deceptively simple what emerges from them and from the relationship between the 88-year-old filmmaker and the third-something photographer is a poignant meditation on everything from self-revelation in the age of the selfie to change in rural France. This rich cross-generational exchange speaks to the persistence of French cinematic culture, while the doc itself is a delight, subtle, touching and entertaining. K. Taylor, October 1, 11 a.m., Svugoldkab, October 6, 645 p.m., Vancouver Playhouse. More from The Globe and Mail.